हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल मिशन एट फिजिक्स एग्जाम एंड गाइज टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर जस्ट क्विकली गोन आर डिस्कस सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट एक्सप्रेशन एंड ट्रिक्स विच विल मेक द कैलकुलेशन स्टेप्स लेस एज वेल एज विल गिव यू द आंसर फॉर एनी सच क्वेश्चन क्विकली इन जस्ट फ्यू सेकेंड्स सो आई होप दिस वीडियो इज गोना बी हेल्पफुल फॉर ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स दोज हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द अपकमिंग सी एस आई आर नेट गेट जेस्ट और एनी अदर सिमिलर एग्जाम्स सो गाइज यू कैन वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड ऑल्सो यू कैन शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स सो दैट दे विल इवन गेट टू नो अबाउट दीज इम्पॉर्टेंट ट्रिक्स सो बेसिकली दीज ट्रिक्स विच वी विल डिस्कस टूडे इन दिस वीडियो विल बी ऑफ क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स रिलेटेड टू द टॉपिक हार्मोनिक ऑसिलेटर सो हार्मोनिक ऑसिलेटर टॉपिक इज गोना हैव सो मेनी थिंग्स इन इट सो मेनी पॉइंट्स इन इट Uh, which are gonna help us to solve questions, which we need to solve questions based on this particular topic. So here I am gonna tell you some of the most, most, most important points. Okay, now the point is the first thing you all need to know is what is the potential expression of harmonic oscillator. So that is just some discussion we are doing right now. What is the trick? I will let you know. So basically. if we are going to talk about the potential expression for the harmonic oscillator it's going to be just half m omega square x square for the 1d case we have mentioned it here okay now once you are going to have any time this potential expression given to you you will be able to know about it that they are talking about the harmonic oscillator clear next point now in this case most of the times like we are going to have the questions from quantum mechanics part which are related to expectation value of position momentum position square momentum square operators now the point is if any time the question is related to harmonic oscillator and they are asking you to find the expectation value of position operator okay corresponding to any state of harmonic oscillator so what you will have to do because we all know the wave function expression of harmonic oscillator is going to have a not a straight forward terms and like just the easy one okay a little bit different in comparison to other wave functions and if somebody is here who have just got to know about that wave function once or twice and has not practiced it again and again they may find it quite difficult so what you need to do actually in this case to find the expectation value of position operator either you can use the raising and lowering operators concept which will make the things quite easy and simple for you the another thing is you can prepare this trick the trick is expectation value of position operator corresponding to any state in harmonic oscillator will always be zero so basically what is the system that matters a lot okay it's harmonic oscillator we are considering right now next one is expectation value of momentum operator corresponding to any state of harmonic oscillator will also be equal to zero always you can just directly use these expressions these are the tricks okay and now as i have talked about the expectation value of position square or momentum square why we need them because we all know expectation value of position square momentum square expectation value of position and momentum together can help us to find the uncertainty in position or uncertainty in momentum how because we all know that uncertainty when we are finding we need the expectation value of that operator square minus expectation value of operator and its square in the same way you can even note down the formula of uncertainty in p okay that is momentum now for that you need this part too that is what that is the expectation value of x square now what is this expectation value of x square you will have for the harmonic oscillator all the discussion is going on for the harmonic oscillator so this is the formula to find the expectation value of x square what is that that's going to be n plus half h squared upon m omega clear where if they are asking you to find the expectation value of x square corresponding to any state n okay it can be ground state first excited state second excited state or any such state you will directly be able to find it clear in any case if they are even asking you to find the expectation value of momentum square then you can use the second formula in this formula you are just going to have n plus half 
एम एच कट ओमेगा ओके सो दिस इज हाउ इफ यू आर गोना प्रिपेयर दीज एक्सप्रेशन डायरेक्टली कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू वट एवर स्टेट दे विल आस्क यू टू फाइंड द एक्सपेक्टेशन वैल्यू ऑफ पोजिशन स्क्वायर मोमेंटम स्क्वायर अनसर्टेनिटी और वट एवर दे आर गोना आस्क यू टू फाइंड यू विल डायरेक्टली बी एबल टू गेट इट नाउ वन मोर थिंग यू कैन डू गाइज यू कैन फाइंड द uncertainty in position uncertainty in momentum once you know about these expressions you will directly be able to get it either just write it for the nth state in general then take the product of uncertainty and in position and momentum and you can even prepare a standard expression in this way what the product will be okay and once you are going to know about that that will even work as a trick so what you can do these general expressions you can consider together find the expectation uh, uncertainty in position find the uncertainty in momentum multiply them and that is even the standard expression you will get in terms of n you can write it and that's going to make the thing simple easy and less time taking for you done so i hope all these tricks will help you to solve the questions based on harmonic oscillator in very less time okay and will be helpful for all of you to solve more and more number of questions in the exam also guys if you found this video helpful for you and to know about all these concepts so you can even share it with your friends okay uh, because if it was helpful for you this video can even be helpful for them and thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end now i'm just going to provide you some information regarding the unacademy plus subscription as you will be familiar with the unacademy plus subscription important courses which are going on on unacademy plus for your upcoming csi or net and gate exams preparation so guys on unacademy plus there are many courses going on by the top educators and these courses are well structured and well planned courses with the help of these courses you can take your preparation to a very good level because you will get the guidance by the top educators you will get to know about the important concepts tricks strategies to prepare for your upcoming exam and all these things together will help you a lot to prepare very well for your upcoming exam also whenever you are going to take the unacademy plus subscription you can use and apply the referral code which is anshli arora as mentioned here no space in between the spelling should be same that's how you need to write it and apply it by using and by applying this referral code you will get the 10% discount in the total unacademy plus subscription amount even you can take the unacademy iconic subscription because in that case you will get many more benefits like the personalized course uh, coach will be available to you the personal coach will be there the study material you will get and many many other benefits are there okay now along with this guys i hope you have watched a video which i have made separately for a test let me just show you about that like this. that slide it's here it's here okay so you can even participate in the uh, this test all the details are on this slide regarding the test and as i have told you about uh, the unacademy plus subscription so if you want to start attending the sessions from now so you can take the subscription even if any course is already going on some of the classes have been conducted so you will be able to cover up that part too by watching the recordings of those sessions because recordings will be available to you on the unacademy learning app so you will not miss anything in that manner and many new courses are soon going to start time to time every month okay just uh like in few days we are going to have the new courses are starting there by the top educators so at any point of time you can take the subscription it will help you to prepare for the exam so thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end and whenever you are going to take the unacademy plus subscription you can use and apply the referral code which is anshli arora as mentioned here no space in between spelling should be same that's how you need to write it and apply it with the help of unacademy plus courses you will be able to work on the concepts tricks approach topics strategies and you will be able to practice many questions with the guidance of top educators so i hope it's going to be helpful for all of you guys thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end i hope all the points even which we have discussed today in this session will be clear to all of you as well also note them down in your formula notebook or the concept notebook whatever you are making along with your preparation and revise them regularly to make a good command on the concepts and the formula because command is important 
know the difference between knowing something and having a good command command matters a lot and that will be something which will help you to score good marks and to solve more number of questions in the exam thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end thank you